What's going on YouTube? It's Ali Dope and I'm checking in once again with another dope video. Yes, sir. So don't you want to make something dope like that? Well, today I'm going to show you how. So what we're going to do is create a new composition. 1080 by 1350 and make sure it's about 30 seconds or however long you want your composition to be. We're going to go ahead and move on, grab the future PSD or whatever your PSD is and we're going to do the composition retainable layer sizes with new edible layer styles. Boom. So now we're going to take that and we're just going to drop. Boom. So now it's going to be right there. 30 seconds. Now you gotta go ahead and turn on all these, make sure all the 3D layers are turned on, these layers right here, as you can see. And then you're gonna go into there and then make sure each, each one is checked. You're gonna do that as you go into the layers, so you don't have to do that exactly right now, but you get what I'm saying. Go ahead and go to new camera. You can choose any camera you want. I use 50, make sure it's a two node camera. And then you're good to go. So now from there, we gotta start setting up the scene. So how are we gonna follow the path? Since we gotta end to this last future one, we gotta go past this one into the other ones. So we're gonna go to two views. We're gonna do one view is gonna be the active camera and then the one view is gonna be the right. In order to change this, you just gotta click on the, the thing or the side it is. As you can see, it's like these blue check marks or whatever. And then you just right here, click whatever view you want. You know what I'm saying? You can do the bottom. We're gonna go into the pre-composure and this is where you start adding all those cool effects and stuff so pretty much for the arm i'm just gonna go ahead and add a uh, a puppet tool on the arm and i believe the arm yes yeah, goes all the way up to his arm so i want these to stay where it's at arm to pretty much stay where it's at and I want to move each of the fingers oh. now I always get a little bit confused when it comes to the puppet tool y'all I'm not gonna lie ones move and then the other ones stay where it's at all right all right so back all right so now i got all my pins and pretty much what i want to do now is keep it where it's at then to about like one one second i just want to shift the arm and the hands down just a teeny bit I don't want it to look like uh, I'm dragging the arm. I think it's easier if you do everything one by one. So the hands move, you know what I'm saying? Like that. Then you wanna do it like a little bit more. Probably move the arm up a little bit. pretty much I would do that you it I press you and then just copy and paste these settings for just to make your life easier you're just gonna move back and forth on the hands if you want you can easy ease everything just so everything got a nice like flow to it but you don't need to so the hand is moving back and forth the hand is moving back and forth now Go ahead and click off of that. And as you can see, he's moving his hand back and forth. It looks realistic to me. He got that arm moving. Then we're gonna have this window start coming down. You wanna turn this motion on for this to transform. Um, and then we're gonna create a position where it's at, at three seconds. 
and then to the five second mark where I put the position down. Boom. That's it right there. Now you got the arm moving with those slide on that one. Hand moving, window slide. So going to two moves. So now we got the it's going in. Window slide. So now we just gotta get the timing right on that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on the camera path second. Right now, we're just focused on creating all the effects going on and all the elements inside of each of these pre-composed layers to make everything, you know, a little bit more easy. Click on this to see where exactly where you're gonna be at. That only focus on what you need to focus on. Go to the end here, right at the end here, double click this one those that only focus on what you need to focus on so it's not a bunch of things going on at one time so boom for this one all i want to do is kind of put the motion on there i'm just going to slide this guy in so let's go to position for that one by the 512 mark he should be there so go back to the position and just gonna shift that off to the side and boom, there you go. And I think I want to put an easy ease on that one, easy ease in. So boom. And for this one, I can actually duplicate the layer too. Move it back a little bit. You feel me? Alright it again back it up just a little bit further I can duplicate it one more time back it up just a little bit further so boom that's hard right that's dope all right so with this one we actually give this one a little wiggle I like always adding a little wiggle on it just so you can always, you know, have some sort of motion. I don't never gotta be crazy, but you don't want it to be so stiff. So here, now we got some motion going on. There we go, big stepper. Cool, right? All right, boom. So now we got this guy sitting on top of the car. And we're just gonna split that background. When it comes in, drops in, boom. Go ahead and split this background, right? Yep. We're gonna throw on a displacement. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna do something like that. Vertical displacement. Oop, there we go. Get a creep frame right here on vertical displacement and then to pretty much the end of it we're gonna go ahead and just melt it pretty much it melts away it's gonna go up and away all right up and away like that so the sky is gonna go like that and in the meantime in between time this guy right here He's gonna start moving away right around this part right around here um, and for that you just want to create a position same thing go to the end pretty much and it's gonna fall down Now you got this coming in. This one goes away. Boom. If I don't want to automatically start doing it. I want to do it like right around here. Because like I said, I want to throw something on the background right here. We're going to split 
that. Press U. Bring that U back over here. So now we got this big stepper. And then we're gonna take this one right here, this guy, this main layer, and we're gonna scale that all the way up. Transform. And like I said, it's a little blank space right here. So I do want to add something in there. You can add different variables. I can add variables such as music video, stuff like that. So I do want to add like some sort of lifestyle type of stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and start dropping some of those assets in there now, just so I have them on standby when it's time to use them. So I have some clips from this music video. And some of them just chilling, I believe. that is on that white screen anyway put that thing right on top That's why I always say name y'all layers because it is a little bit more difficult to do this when your layers aren't named correctly. Right now, with this, now you can go ahead and start adding some transitions. So like I said, we're gonna keep going. I gotta do this for each one of them. I'm gonna get back to you guys when I start adding the actual camera paths. So then you guys can see that. But pretty much as you can see, all it is is creating the effects and the motions for each layer based on the time that you have. So right now I'm going pretty much four second increments for each clip. And like I said, I'll go through each effect that I made 
after I finished laying them out, um, just to make sure so you guys don't have to sit through this whole tutorial, like, oh, each little, each little bitty effect, but nah. After I go ahead and lock in all these and the effects that's gonna take place on each one, then we're gonna go to the layer and how we're gonna modify and zoom through each layer um, accordingly. This, and then we're gonna bring this, um, this future here. We're gonna bring that in. He's gonna do some cool things. This future's gonna do some cool things. Maybe slide in, slide in. We're gonna have a music video screened on this background here. And then we're gonna transition and zoom warp into the, his hand where the money is. The money's gonna bring him smoke. Now with these, so pretty much what I did with that was, I pretty much did a light sweep back and forth and have him bouncing up and back. But like I said, you guys can add different effects. So now I'm just adding like a smoke. Uh, alpha is already like keyed out and everything. So you just got this smoke and I'm gonna just put the smoke pretty much where the smoke is right now. On top, I put it on top of everything. So it's smoking, yeah. Yeah, what y'all what y'all think? That y'all look pretty realistic to me. There we go. Um, I probably do some cool stuff like a displacement in the back here as well. Go ahead and start vertical. I always like to use vertical. I wanted to stop for this specific slide because this one is the one that's gonna have a lot going on from the leg swinging to mouth open future popping out so he could pop out like around the end like right here he could pop in real quick pop in pop out so let's get that going real quick turn the motion on for this position this is where I know I want him to be. We're just gonna push that down. We're gonna come on the table. We're gonna easy ease in on this one. Look real quick. Create another keyframe. And then that thing is gonna go right back down. And then we're gonna go easy ease 
out on that one. All right, so boom, in, out. Go in, in, out, in, out. All right, back. Okay, cool. We want this leg, leg swinging a little bit. So I am gonna put some um, puppet tool on the leg swinging. Thing you want to move thing, and then pretty much just copy and paste these. for this one but I do want to give it a little rotation and all I did right there was adjust the anchor point a little bit down so the rotation is not in the middle of the screen and it's at the anchor point so the leg is swinging back and forth so there we go the leg swinging grab the fireball put the fireball right there we say you want to drop it we're gonna go ahead and Toggle the switch, go to screen. See where the explosion is happening. Boom, it happens right here. I want it right before he comes out. So, boom, then he pops out. So, put that. We're gonna move this over to the side behind this guy. Line it up. This is 3D2. Boom. He pops out. You feel me? Sensational. So now we got this. We got this frame going. And with this frame going, you just want to do that infinite zoom. I don't know if you guys uh, have tried it, but it, it's pretty cool. Pretty much all you're doing for the framing is going to scale, right? Scaling it down a little bit. And we're only going to do this up until the explosion. So we want to split this. Make a duplicate. Go to scale again. Scale again inside, and you just want to keep doing that uh, until you get like a, a like a a cool infinite looking like picture. It could be as many as you want. It could be like two, three, four, five. Like it's all up to you. You just keep nudging it back. Open up the scale. Scale it down. And you just want to just keep doing that until you get like a cool little thing and then you're going to pop them back up and then they're going to just go back to the top here then all these are going to just pop back into place you're going to inch these all the way up until they get to like a nice cool little you know staircase looking thing in the jigger Now with that, you got all the frames right there. Look at that. You feel me? So boom, you got the infinite zoom going on right there. Leg booming, explosion going. He pop in, he pop out. Now the frame needs to disappear. Gonna go to position right here. The frame needs to go ahead and move. But we're gonna 
add a little bit of a rotation to that. Because so, when it falls, you want to give it some sort of, you know, it turned a little bit. I'm just going to turn this way a little bit. Boom. This one this one's not too crazy like I said we about to finish up add a little bit of extra elements in each of the in each of the sequences and then we're gonna go over like I said the camera path okay I felt like I should stop here as well because this is one of the collage transitions as you can see it's just the four images here and pretty much all it is is positioning it out on the screen positioning it on the screen and then positioning back out so it's the actual transition so you just want to go to where it's actually splitting at right here between the two images and this is where you want it to be on the screen right here and then this is where you want it to push back off so for all these you want to click the position you want to turn on these motions right here so this is the pretty much the position so we want to create three frames for all these things so we do want to create, create keyframes for pretty much everything. So here we go. This one, I'm going to have this one come down. And you want to move them all over just a keyframe. Boom. So now it pops on the screen. It's going to be there for a few seconds. Then we're going to go ahead and create uh, more keyframes. Boom. So now, now you select for each one that you need to do it. So this one, I want this one to move over to the side. This one's going to come over here. Boom. Now for this one. This one, I'm going to have to come to the side too. Boom. And then for this one right here. I dragged it. For this one, you should have it coming up over here. I dragged it. I don't know why I dragged it. But anyways, here. Boom. So now it drags over, covers everything. And now we're gonna go ahead and move everything off the screen. So now back down to the left, this one. Back down. Right, this right here, we're gonna move this one right down as well. This one, we're gonna just move it back up where it's at. Boom, go ahead and easy ease those. Make sure these right here at the end. Boom, so now it comes on the screen. Yep, there for a second, and then they go back. So that's a transition in, out. Like I said, I'm gonna add a wiggle to them. You don't have to, just so they have some sort of, you know, animation on them. So now you got that coming in over there. Then it's gonna reveal that, you know what I'm saying? But I gotta set the uh, set the camera pass up right. So it's gonna come in there and then reveal this on the background. So we're getting to the end here, y'all. As far as layering everything up we still going to add a few elements to things and then work on the camera path so yeah guys i got a, a lot of assets for Mato elements man shout out to y'all clicking that link man keep supporting me and everything i got going on i really appreciate it man i use i use these uh alpha channel um snow falling just so it can add another element of like cool stuff in it so we just added some snow in there falling falling there we go cool beans 
and that's like pretty much it for like adding like extra stuff into everything i don't want to go too crazy